turn on office light. Got it. Turning on light. Hey, change office light to green. Changing light to green. Hey, make special effects on office light. Hey, turn off office light. Okay, turning light off. We also have the touch control. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to control a LED strip with Arduino or ESP8266 and Google Home and Google Assistant. I had two videos explaining how to set up a partner cloud to talk to a smart home Google, based on a Google example. Then I have modified a little bit this example to include MQTT in this scenario. Then your ESP8266 and Arduino are going to receive MQTT messages when you act on the touch control or using Google Assistant. For instance, when you change color, you are going to receive this message, the Spectrum RGB and the code, and then it's up to your code in Arduino to act on this. And also brightness and on and off commands. So in this way, you can control by ESP8266, Wemos, Arduino, any type of device here that has MQTT implemented can control the LED strip or LED lights. This is the schematic for this project. Starting here with the Wemos, we have the output that comes from D5 pin, PIO14, and it goes to this bus transceiver that basically just converts the 3.3 output from ESP to 5 volts. This is because I'm using a LED strip that is powered on with 12 volts DC. I need at least 5 volts in this data input on the LED strip to have it working. In case we are using a LED strip of 5 volts, then you can connect directly the ESP to the LED strip. Here the output is controlled by the library FastLED. I will show you with the Arduino code. We also need a DC power of 5 volts or USB to power on Wemos. Or in case we are using ESP8266, you need a 3.3 source power. You need to connect all the grounds together to have this working. Let's go to the code. Here is the Arduino code. I will not go in all the details, but just the basic ones. So we have here the Wi-Fi library, MQTT client, to receive the commands from your application on Google Cloud, the Arduino JSON to parse the messages that we receive from Google, and the fast LED that controls the LED strip. I have also the serial monitor here. For instance, if I say, turn on my office light, Got it. Turning on light. I receive from Google or for my application on Google Cloud, this JSON on and the value true. So I will change now the color. Change my light color to blue. So as you can see now, I receive another command, the X Spectrum RGB with the code 255 that is blue. I can also change the brightness. Change my light brightness to 50%. So this is how you receive the messages from Google and then your code needed to set it for the FastLED library. So here is the setup 
method that will basically start your Wi-Fi and also your MQTT client you connect with your MQTT client and also you start your FastLED library here is the method connect that connect to your MQTT broker when you connect to MQTT broker you also subscribe to a topic in this case is my device ID in the Google Cloud and Dash client whenever you receive a message it comes on on this method and then as I said you need to to set up the, the library FastLED to act on this for instance when you receive a brightness you set the the brightness value here when you receive messages from change color then you set here I'm also using a special color to trigger special effects I'm using this code here to start special effects on the LED strip yeah and then on loop you set the fast LED library according to, to what you set before in the message you received and also in case effect special effects is set then it plays this periodically effects here so those methods below here are used for the special effects so all of this uh, I took from an example on the fast lead to have these special effects to trigger the special effects I'm using this color here light green the code is this one so whenever I receive this code then I set this boolean value to true and then the code in the loop is responsible to make the special effects I have also in the routines in the Google Home set this special routine make special effects on office light and then what Google Home does is to change the office light to light green and in this way I trigger the special effects yeah so basically this is the code if you have any question you can put down below in the comments and I can answer as soon as possible thanks for watching hey Google turn on off the light okay turning light on hey Google change light to red got it changing light to red hey Google change light to blue okay changing light to blue hey Google make special effects on off the light Hey Google, turn off light. Okay, turning light off.